Hi everyone and today I have a new book review for you lot and this is on The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. No, not Stephen Chopsticks as I used to refer to him as. I did actually think that was his name. It's Stephen Chbosky. Anyway, this book is actually about a young boy named Charlie and he's actually going to be about to start his freshman year in high school and he's actually very, very scared and very nervous about starting all this because his best friend has recently passed away. So obviously he's feeling a little unconfident and a bit unsure really about what's going to happen. We're basically thrown into his life through these letters that he writes and they're really interesting from his view and perspective and he basically explores the issues that you'd expect from high school life. Possibly this is going to provide some good information and relatability for readers as well so definitely it's a really good synopsis and a great plot so for the characters in this book I'm gonna to have to give them a four out of five I think for the majority of the book I really enjoyed the characters found Charlie's persona really interesting it was portrayed in such an exciting way and I think we get to find a lot of interesting information about his life because the book's set from his perspective and he certainly lets us know a lot about into himself and I think that's really nice to know because you really sort of develop a good connection with him I think some people as well might find him relatable but I have to say he's a little bit unbelievable at times I think because he's 15 he doesn't know some of the stuff that you would expect him to know and also I just think that he cries almost every day really and I'm not sure if that's really believable though however it is from his perspective as I mentioned and I do think this also impacts negatively because you don't actually get to find as much about the side characters as you would want to I don't think they're very well developed and I didn't really know a lot of them and why exactly they were doing half of the things that they were doing on the side. Sometimes there were things happening with the side characters but you just didn't care about them or even bother about what was happening simply because you didn't know them and you didn't connect with them because they weren't developed. But you know, in general, the characters were still pretty good. So for the plot, it's going to get the same rating as the characters. It's going to get a 4 out of 5. I thought the plot was fairly gripping and very exciting for the most part. And I really liked how so many issues were explored in this one very short book, actually. And, you know, I think it certainly opens your mind into a lot of different things you might not already know loads about, which is really, really good. I also find it was quite easy to follow. However, I think if you look into it a little bit more, with a bit more depth, it's actually quite intricate. And, you know, all the themes in there really add some great intricity. However, I have to be honest, I have to say some scenes were a little bit boring for me and there was a scene quite near the beginning actually that I found was a bit graphic and a bit unnecessary actually. I don't think it was needed in the book and you know for a YA book it went into quite a bit of information and depth and that's too far for me. Slightly uncomfortable to read that but you know at least it was only once, that was only once and the rest of it was really enjoyable to read. For the writing in this book I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I love the idea of Charlie writing letters to his friend. I think he talks about this friend, we don't exactly know who it is but I think that really adds some great intrigue and you can really get your own perception of it actually. It's not necessarily forced to you, you get your own idea and I think that's sort of really nice touch actually. But for me the style is very very simple and I think that a few parts need filling out a lot more you know more description more character development is needed yes I always say simple styles are normally very effective and interesting and nice to read but I just don't think this style particularly I didn't know the majority of things that Stephen Chbosky was writing about and I think he could have gone a lot further with what he was talking about. I also have to deduct a point five here because both of the character and plots I'm basically compromising here because I'm giving them both a four and ultimately the characters and plot both fit under writing so I've kind of compromised by giving both of them a four and this a 3.5 instead. Hopefully that is okay and you understand that but you know, I think in general it was an okay style to read, but a little bit too basic. It could have gone a lot further. The enjoyment's going to get a 3.5 out of 5, and I found this to be quite an enjoyable read. I'm really glad I read it. I'm not sure if I would necessarily reread it, however. It's certainly not one of my favourites, but, you know, parts of it were really interesting. I really enjoyed exploring the life of a 15-year-old boy's perspective, which is obviously the age I am as well, so I think that's really cool. I think whilst this positive point also balanced out with a negative aspect of it, some people would probably find that you can really focus focus on Charlie's perspective and who he is as a character he's like the spotlight throughout and I think that you know it's kind of ironic this because he's considered like a wallflower someone that basically sits on the side and doesn't stand out and instead just blends in with the crowd so you know still lots of positive parts to it and a really good read so overall we get a 3.8 out of 5 for this book it's an okay rating it's not outstanding but you know I'm glad I read it and I would recommend it to absolutely anyone probably starting high school or currently in high school because you know, there's a lot to find out that would really open your eyes but really that is all I have to say right now so that is it for this review please don't forget to comment rate share and subscribe and of course i'll see you all again later